Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday morning prayer and devotion. Thank you for joining me today. As I mentioned to you yesterday morning, I'm currently uh, out of town at a conference, a church conference, and um, unable to record these or to come to you live, actually. So I'm pre recording this uh, this morning for you. And I do thank you for being faithful to this prayer ministry, even when I'm not able to actually be with you in real time. Today I want you to uh, please remember in prayer those who have suffered recent loss of a loved one, and we have several families that are struggling with that right now, uh, going through a very uh, difficult time. The family and church family of Brother Anthony Trimble, the family of Kenny Knoll, Terry Barber's family, and Brother Ron Buford and his son Jason and their families today needing the strength of the Lord as they're coping with uh, their loss. In our COVID request today, we need to remember those who are continuing, uh, continuing to battle with that virus. Uh, there has been spikes uh, recently, uh, especially in the Springfield and Branson area. And um, throughout the state, uh, it seems like the Delta variant is picking up steam. So let's pray against the virus today and for all those who are currently recovering from it. We need to pray for Brother Ron today as he's been having some issues with his hands. Uh, Kristen Contino's dad has some back issues and we're believing for a good recovery uh, for him. Sister Shirley Perkins uh, has to be off blood thinners for five days prior to having a colonoscopy next Thursday. So we're praying that everything will go well while she is off of her blood thinners. Let's keep praying for Sherman today. Um, that his colon issues will be resolved. And let's pray for those who are recovering from recent surgery, Carol Clinton and Jerry Rhodes. We have several who we're praying for for continued recovery from various accidents and long-term illnesses. Uh, we continue to pray for those who have been in the hospital this week, including James Jones, Elaine Castro, um, and Brother uh, Scott Smith, also Cindy Lewis, and let's believe for healing for each of them. Uh, let's keep praying today for those who have various illnesses going on. Carmen's sister Tracy has been having problems with vertigo. Um, John Contino needs his health restored. Uh, baby Macy needs continued prayers today. And we have several with kidney problems, back problems, uh, children who are dealing with various disorders that are um, difficult for anyone, but especially for a child to not be able to have the normal childhood and to be able to play like the other kids. So let's pray for these children and their families today. Uh, their names are Abel Ray, Tano Lopez, Baby Elsie, Baby Brantley, Abram Page, and Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker. Let's believe for their healing today. So many on our list battling with cancer. You can read the list posted here on the video today and call those names before the Lord. We have several with kidney and liver problems, diabetes, heart issues, back problems, arthritis, disc inflammation, uh, unexpected or unexplained weight loss, uh, stomach problems, lung and respiratory issues not related to COVID, uh, MS, dementia, Parkinson's disease, and many other physical needs today. Let's pray for all the families that are going through stress right now and the needs that are going on in marriages. Our homes need to be whole, and uh, we're believing God to give his help today um, and for people to be able to see uh, that help and to respond to God's direction in those needs. Uh, we have many spiritual needs today. Let's keep praying for our family and friends and loved ones, co-workers, and yes, even our enemies today uh, need our prayers. So whoever that it is that has a spiritual need, call their name before the Lord. We all have our own circle of influence. And of course, there's also this list um, available to you that reflects that. Let's continue to pray for Brother Mark Tipton as he ministers to the homeless today. Uh, pray for revival in our communities and across the world. And today I ask you specifically to pray for our missionaries to Bolivia, Robert and Elizabeth Dane. 
I welcome each one of you this morning, taking part in our prayer time. Take a moment and greet one another. Share any last-minute prayer requests that you have with one another. And we also love to hear those prayer uh, praise reports. And uh, you can rest assured, although I'm not with you uh, live this morning and interacting with you live, I will be going back and looking at your comments. And I so much appreciate your involvement today. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, as we conclude our series on the goodness of God. And we have determined that God is good no matter what I'm going through. And that's the, the solid rock of truth that we can hold on to today in whatever that we are facing. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. I'm so glad that wherever I'm at at the moment, and we've all had some bad moments, I'm glad that that is not indicative of, of God's plan for us in the end. God has an expected end for each of us, and it is uh, nothing short of glorious, God's destiny for us. So I want to remind you today that wherever you are, that God is not done. I talked to you that about that a little bit yesterday, but I just want to remind you that God is not dead and he is not done. And there are times that our lives may look or feel like an unfinished painting, and an unfinished painting is a lot of times a huge mess with pieces missing. But God wants you to know that although you may not be able to see it, he is still at work. He's still doing a creative and brilliant work in your life and in the lives of those you love. Just because we cannot see the finished product doesn't mean that it's not going to be a masterpiece. I remember, remember sometimes watching street artists and one in particular that I remember watching who was using nothing but cans of spray paint. He had several cans of spray paint, and he just began to look like it was just random as he began to uh, paint on the canvas with those spray cans, and he'd pick up another can, another can. It was just a huge mess, but then all of a sudden, you began to see something beautiful take shape, and you would never, um, never guess that it was done without even a, a brush, but someone just holding different spray cans of paint. And sometimes we can't see what God is doing, and it looks like a huge mess, but God is working a masterpiece of our lives. Philippians 1 and 6 refers to that unfinished work of God and tells us, as I told you yesterday, to be, con to be confident that he who began a good work in you will complete it. He will perform it. And so rest assured, God is still active, and God is hard at work today in your life. Nothing and no one can stop God's favor in your life. Even if you feel like your painting is a mess, God can use that mess to bless the people in your world. And there is more in mind for all of us, more favor, more blessings, and more good things coming from the mind of God today. We ought to celebrate that. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. We thank you, God, that your hand is upon us this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you're completing this work, that we are in process today, and we know, God, that you're continuing to do your plan. Help us today, God, to be that clay that is just subject to you, and, and Lord, that you could rework us and mold us and make us into another vessel today. Hallelujah. You're working in each and every life this morning. We believe for your peace and comfort for these who are struggling with grief right now. Lord, let your hand rest upon each one of them, each of these families, and comfort their hearts today. These who are battling COVID, Lord, these who are in the hospital right now with complications from COVID, we believe for healing. We believe for strength for those who are on the road to recovery right now. In Jesus' name, we pray for Brother Ron today. Lord, touch his hands. Touch Kristen's dad today, Lord. Minister to Sister Perkins right now. Let everything go well while she's off of blood thinners preparing for this procedure. Touch Sherman this morning in Jesus' name. These who are recovering from recent surgery and these who are continuing to, recovery for, to recover from different events in their lives, we believe for your touch. For those who are in the hospital for other reasons right now, for Elaine and for James, we pray, God, your healing touch upon them. In Jesus' name, touch Tracy today, Lord. 
Give her relief from this vertigo. We pray for John today for his health to be restored. For all these others with health problems this morning, those with back pain and kidney issues, these children, Lord, who are in need today, those who are battling cancer, we lift them up to you right now. Those who need healing of their vital organs today. Jamie Jo needs healing of her liver. So many needing healing of their kidneys today. Those with heart problems today, we believe for them. For Erlene Copeland and for Cheryl and for Kenny today. For those with back pain, God, minister your healing touch to them, Lord. Those with joint pain, hallelujah. Those who are suffering with arthritis, oh, Lord, you took stripes upon your back for our healing, and we trust for that healing today. Hallelujah for those with lung problems and stomach issues, with dementia and MS and Parkinson's and whatever other physical needs that are represented here today, Lord. We know that you're in control. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're doing a good work in us, even in the midst of bad situations. And we trust you today. We trust you today, Lord. We believe for you to move in our families today. You see every need that's going on in families. You see families, Lord, that have drifted away from one another and away from you, God. We pray for healing in marriages, healing in homes, and for restoration spiritually today. Lord, you see every name on our need of our list of spiritual needs today. We pray you would move in our families, move among our friends and neighbors, move in the lives of our enemies today, God. Lord, that there would be reconciliation, that there would be, Lord, no strife between us in the name of Jesus. So, oh, God, those who are suffering from depression, those who are suffering from mental illness today, from anxiety and from stress, Oh, God, we pray that they would be uplifted and encouraged and healed today. We pray for Brother Tipton ministering to so many who are broken today, living in homeless encampments in Decatur and Huntsville. Lord, we pray your favor upon him. Give him direction and wisdom, Lord, and how to proceed with that uh, that ministry. God, give him the finance to carry out your work. We pray for Robert and Elizabeth Dame, our missionaries to Bolivia. God, use them today. Move through them. And while you're moving, Lord, in other lands today, Lord, we pray your blessing and your help today for us in our own communities. North America needs revival. We believe you for that great awakening, oh God. Let it begin in me. Let it spread throughout my family, throughout my circle of influence, in my church, in our community. And we give you the praise and the glory for what you're doing in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for praying with me all week long. Have a great uh, weekend. We pray God's blessing upon everyone's church services this week and that we would begin the next week energized to do the work of God after rallying together with people of like precious faith. I'll see you Monday morning, Lord willing, at 7.30 a.m. right here on Facebook Live.